Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of art from the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday at 10 a.m., a staff member or a volunteer will share an object from the collection and post some questions for discussion. Check back each weekday at 10 a.m. for a new look and a new conversation. I'm Carrie Atkins Maris. I'm the Associate Director for Community Engagement at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And today we're going to look at one of my very favorite pieces in the collection, Near the Village, October by George Innes. George Innes was born May 1st, 1825 in New York State. He was the fifth of 13 children, which I always feel like explains something about an artist. But he's known as the father of American landscape, and so he was a pretty pretty successful artist during his lifetime. And he's associated with several different movements, including the Barbizon School, the Hudson River School, and maybe most importantly, the Tonalists. We have several pieces of Innes' work in the collection at the museum, but Near the Village October is my favorite, and it represents a lot of the qualities that are associated with him, including, and here's a big word, his influence of Swedenborganism, which was a religious and spiritual philosophy that included some, some thinking about how God and man were related through nature and couldn't exist without one another. When we think of spiritualism or religious art at the museum, we think of these kinds of pieces more naturally. And this is why it's kind of interesting to look at spiritualism through a completely different lens. This is another piece by Ennis in the collection at the Art Museum. And here you can see some of the same influences of Swedenborganism through the use of the kind of blurred edges and blocking out of the landscape or abstraction. I'm sure you're all dying to know why Near the Village October is one of my favorite paintings. And it's because I feel like it's a real bridge from traditional landscape to something like this which is heavily influenced by the idea of spiritualism and very abstracted and something people have a hard time understanding. So if we can create these kind of bridge works like near the village of near the village October, we can create some more understanding about abstraction and artists that work in a totally different kind of style. We're back to near the village October by Innes. And I hope that you've learned a little something about how different genres of art can be connected through ideas like abstraction and spiritualism. And you're inspired to come and see this work in the galleries at the museum soon. Until next time, take care.